Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is the truck already coming to you this fine morning. Let's take a look. We got us 5.09 in the morning. Yeah, and there's another pennant right there. He was here last night already when I come in here, so I guess he's a bit more lazier than me, I suppose. I have my uh, exact 10 hours off already. I got here quarter to seven last night, so quarter to five, it means uh, we had our 10 hours off. So uh, we're getting our day started. So let's get out of here and let's uh, hit the road. <laughs>
kind of looking forward to uh, meeting up with him and uh, get to know him a little bit better. I've never actually met up with him before, so you guys are going to get to see him the first time too. Although, you know, you guys have to wait seven days to watch it, but <laughs> hey, yeah. And also for those of you that are interested in knowing uh, what kind of truck I have and stuff like that, I do have that information down below on every single video and the, and the description box. If you don't uh, see it there or if you can't go there or whatever, you can always go to my website. And I do have that information on my website now too. Yes, indeed I do. So, uh, yeah. I've been working really hard on my website, trying to keep that up to date and uh, make it look nice and all that good stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Keep the map up there on where we're going and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's actually not a bad day though. We got 21 degrees Celsius right now and uh, I was actually happy there with the way it worked out there last night with my uh, reload. That I did not suspect that. I was told that it could take anywhere between four and five hours to get loaded over there. And no, we were in and out of there pretty much in a very short time. So, uh, so we uh, were happy about that. So that way we could get out of there early this morning and. We didn't have to wait for nothing. We knew already yesterday that we were loaded, so, so that made me happy. But yeah, let's make our way down to Zot Beloit, Illinois. Here we are taking the exit to go to Zot Beloit, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We're gonna go see if we can uh, meet Angelo. Yeah, that's the guy we're gonna be meeting with. In a quarter mile. See if Turn he's there. I think he should be there. But yeah, let's go find out. See if he's there. I'm kind of excited to go ahead and meet up with him, you know? Well, guys, I told you we were going to meet Angelo. Here he is. Hey, hey what's buddy? up? Hey, <laughs> guys. Hey. So we're here uh, at the Flying J in South Beloit. And uh, he's finally back over the road, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're so slow. going to New York. New York? Stay. What are you going to do over there? Go for round, I guess. Go for round? Yeah, I got a load of chicken, so. Oh, and uh, Angelo's got a load of chicken for you, Scott and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to check out this truck. Yeah, first day on this truck, right? Yep, first day. I only got 600 miles I put on it so far. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like these mirrors. How do you like them so far? Actually, I like them. Yeah. First time, you know, I, the last Volvo I had a while, I had the had the, the wrong ones like same mine. Same ones eh? like you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys see that? Mine has got the different style, and he's got these uh, squarey type of looking uh, mirrors. I, I've heard that the, you can see a lot better yeah, you beside your trailer, right? On, eh? on, on the wideness on the bottom, yeah. you can see a lot better. Yeah. Oh, yeah so let's check out what kind of motor you got. Oh my, yeah, she's looking nice and clean yet so far. Wow. A D13, uh, I got a brand new alternator. I was just going to say, that looks like a brand, brand new alternator. Brand yeah, because yeah, like, you can see the it. screws here, right? Like brand new screws in there. Yeah, I literally just, they just put it on before I got the truck. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I see yours doesn't have the air ride either, like, yeah. just like mine. I like that better. You mind switching? Mine doesn't have that either. I, I like it. Opening. I was going shopping. No, I like it that way. Because uh, for well, me... It... I was used to the... I, the last truck I had had it, and I, was, I loved it. Yeah? But this is, it's not as bad, you know? Yeah? It's not as bad. It, no, it rides I, smooth. I like it, and, and the reason why I like it, it feels more secure on the road. Yeah. And, and with the airbags, you're always all over, and it doesn't feel as yeah. secure on the road, you know? Uh, but, the tires on there are brand new. I see that, yeah. Like, uh, I don't even think, not even a couple months, I know the drive tires don't even have 20,000 miles on them. Oh, They're wow. Mill, not even nice. Look batteries, at that, guys. Batteries are less than two months old. Wow. Months, not even. So what year truck is it? 2014. 2014? Yeah. Wow. So, 
they uh, they did a PM service on it before I got it, before that. So it's, it's not due for an oil change for 23,000. Um, they changed out all the air filters, they topped everything off. Nice. And, uh, the air condition is nice and ice cold. And ice uh, cold? Yeah. Oh. You, know, I'm, I got the you want to change truck? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> well, my air conditioning is not too bad either, but mine, like the uh, the insulation, the, the like that uh, shiny stuff you see in the back there yeah. by the motor, is starting to fall off on mine. So it's not protecting the uh, cap so much anymore from the engine heat. Yeah. So that's why my 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 cap seems to be warmer. Warmer, yeah. In the back, it's it's colder than it is in the front, but but yeah, that's what it seems like. Let's take a look from the other side. I haven't really looked at a Volvo engine in a good while. But yeah, this is his, uh, his truck, eh? Yeah, it's got, I, I haven't gotten the wash, but with the rain, it got a little bit of a bath. Yeah. Morning. Oh, yeah. I see that's how the EGR rub cooler comes on there. Is it? Yeah, that's the EGR rub cooler. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I got to put back into my truck. That's what I gotta do. And yours has got the EGR valve way over there. Yeah. And mine has got it like right here in this section here. So yours is a little different uh, different design. Sometimes we can, you can black those off, right? Or no? Uh, it is no longer legal. It's, it's no never longer. it's never really been legal, but... But at one point, you could. It, it, you can. They changed it. Yeah, mine is bypassed. I think I said it on my live show the other day. Mine has been bypassed. My EGR rub has been taken out and all that, and I got to put that in next month. When I do my safety, you can no longer get a safety without that. Yeah. Well, what's the, I don't even know what. Is that, that's the turbo. I know that's the turbo. Yeah, that's the actuator for, uh, for, uh, for your turbo. Okay. Looks like it's a twin turbo too, eh? I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like is it. Is it? Huh? Yeah, you see the back one here? So that's a double turbo? Yeah, double? and then there is another one right there. Yeah. No wonder I noticed that it, it gets up there a little quick. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I would uh, recommend for you to keep an extra filter like this in winter time. Yeah. Yeah. Because that one. Gel, they could gel up. Yeah, those ones gel up pretty quick, but but yeah, no truck looks good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I like the Volvo, but uh, I don't know about you, but. No, I had I had a Volvo, you know, before about a year ago. And I drove that for about almost two years, on and off. Yeah. So I was very, I was, I fell in love with it. When I first got into, it, I couldn't understand for the person I drove for why he was so infatuated. Then when I got out yeah. and I went local with another company, I was like, now I know what he was talking about. I really, you really get that that luxury comfort feeling, you know. Yeah. For, for people that drive over, they know. For them that don't know, they drive it, they'll know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like we used to say. Kind of like driving a Mercedes, right? That's right. I was yeah. gonna say that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know there is some Freightliners that come with Mercedes engines, but they're apparently not the best. But but yeah, no, the truck looks very nice. Yeah, my my frame and everything is starting to rust and stuff like that. But yeah, I know some of these things crack and none of this. Is crack. Yeah, that's kind of common on the wall. I replaced my uh, plastic fenders last year, in uh, in March, I think last year in March when I overhauled my bottom end. I did that as well, and yeah, I guess that's a more of a common thing on the on the wall. But luckily, these fenders are not too crazy expensive. They're like, I think they were like 120 bucks a piece. They're not crazy, so. But no, the truck looks very nice. I would say. I mean, very yeah. nice, nice and clean. Yet I know the uh, Volvo engine has got a bit of a thing where they seem to rust quicker than the Commons does. You know. Yeah. But no, I I think it's a pretty good truck. Pretty good shape, I would say. Yeah. So you had it all uh, looked at. I'm getting, I'm getting about, getting about 6.8. I think I'm getting right now. So it's not too bad on the fuel mileage. Oh, that's pretty good. I would say with a heavy load like that. Yeah, 40, 40,300. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So how does it feel to be a owner operator? It still feels weird, honestly. <laughs> it, feels weird. it doesn't feel like real yet. I still feel like I'm a company driver. Still. Yeah. You know, taking the first step, you know, to make it work, and after driving 10 years, I finally, you know, made the jump, and that was through a friend of, you know, Larry, if you all know Larry, Trunk and Jukebox, he's the one that brought me over, so I guess I gotta get it, get used to it, but yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna be very happy. 
Yeah, that's the same company that uh, Trucker Jukebox is driving for, yeah, except uh, he's got a white color, which I think looks much better than the red, but... Yeah, and I got to see what kind of scratches are on it when I park it. <laughs> Especially when you're from New York. <laughs> he says he's from New York, eh? That's yeah. New York, born and bred. Oh my, how's it? How, how's the driving? I've always been curious. Uh, I hear a lot of stories from drivers that, that tell us all kinds of scary, scary stories from driving in New York. Is it really that scary driving in New York? Not anymore. Years ago, yeah. Now, yeah. Nah. Not anymore? Yeah, it could be just as bad as Chicago when you're, the, when you're in traffic inside that. Yeah, no yeah. more mo no more of these gangsters climbing up on your truck. and They jump on my truck and I'm going to take them for a ride. They ain't never going to forget. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm serious too, I don't stop. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it in gear and just keep on going. No, oh, just stop the truck, man. Nope. No one told you to up? jump off in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I've been hearing, you know, like guys would jump on your uh, on your steps trying to demand some money or whatever, right? Yeah, they'll get about a quarter. That's as far as they go here. Yeah. Here, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, he's wanting to get out of here, so I'm going wanting to get out of here. It's finally uh, nice to meet with you, Angelo. I finally put a name to the face, guys. A yeah. name to the face. Yeah, and it's an ugly face, too. <laughs> well, at least he didn't go. He didn't talk about mine. <laughs> yeah, no, we weren't going to talk about that on camera, but we'll talk about it off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, nice meeting with you guys. We'll get back on the road. We'll talk with you guys in a few. I am just entering Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we have just finished meeting up with Angelo, and that was a very nice uh, meeting up there. Really enjoyed uh, meeting him. Finally got to know him, or you know, I kind of got to know him over the phone already. But it's nothing like uh, you know meeting somebody in person, right? So my first impression has been very good. He's a very nice guy. Yep, that's right. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our journey home, right? That's a plan, anyways. Still looking pretty dark over there, so we can't expect to get more rains, like I said earlier. Yeah, we uh, will probably get rain showers here every once in a while, but hey, that's the way it is. It is very humid. It's not really that hot, but it's very humid and feels hotter than actually than what it actually is. So, but yeah, we are back in Wisconsin now. That's for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed the little interview that I did with uh, Angelo there too. So uh, we'll continue with our journey. I am now in Minneapolis in Minnesota. Yep. Here we go. We got a little bit of construction going in, but hey, that's for the good, right? It's going to make our highways a lot better, a lot smoother, hopefully. <laughs> That's only hopefully, right? <laughs> you never know, because they <laughs> don't always manage to get it nice and smooth. Although they try, but they can't always get it 100%. But anyways, we've been going pretty steadily here, and looks like we got us another hour to go, and then we'll be done for today. Looks like we have decided to go up to Clearwater, Minnesota. And we'll call it a day over there. And then we'll uh, continue on with our journey tomorrow. That's right. Man, it's kind of been drizzling there a little bit again, but we knew that was going to happen, right? Yeah, luckily the traffic ain't too bad up here in Minneapolis today. But we got to keep in mind it's Saturday, right? Shouldn't be too many people out here. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's the way it goes, but hey, we might be meeting up with somebody tomorrow. It's a very good possibility. Yep, we'll have to see how it goes, but uh, I talked to somebody out of Winnipeg and uh, we'll see if they want to meet up with us tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and uh, get out of here, continue with our journey, and uh, 
We'll see what old sign of goodies we'll be able to show you today. I am finished for today. Yeah, we went inside and had us a much needed shower because we're going home tomorrow, right? So we want to smell half decent, right? Well, yeah, we're over here at the uh, Petra 2 in Clearwater, Minnesota. Plenty of parking over here, as you can probably tell. Yep, that's right. And so uh, we're going to go to bed here very shortly. And then we'll see what kind of day we will have tomorrow. We might be meeting up with somebody tomorrow. It's a good possibility we will. But yeah, we're going to go to bed here in a few minutes and then... Uh, Get us a good night's sleep in. Get up really early tomorrow morning and get out of here. So, appreciate all you guys watching today. If you did like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Share the video. If you're new to our channel, we would love to have you. Hit that subscribe button down here. Yeah, that would be very much appreciated. So, if you did all of them good things that make us love our job, then uh, stick around for tomorrow and we'll have some other goodies coming towards you. So don't go nowhere. We'll see you right here tomorrow morning. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. <laughs>